What's up guys, this is Greg from Hargrove here, uh, bringing you our first tutorial, so uh, bear with me if it's a bit rough around the edges, like I said, it's uh, first tutorial. Uh, but anyways, what I'm going to cover today is something that you know took me a while to learn uh, in FL, and that's creating bus channels um, in your mixer. So that being said, obviously this tutorial is going to be a little more focused uh, towards the FL Studio users. Uh, but hopefully if you're not on FL, you know, you can still learn something about some mixing techniques here. Uh, so anyways, let's jump right into it. Um, so like I said, today we're going to be making bus channels in FL Studio. And essentially a little bit of information on what a bus channel is and does is it's a channel in your mixer track that's going to allow you to combine multiple mixer track instances into one channel. And, you know, this is really useful for mixing down, you know, your sounds or whatever at the end of the whole mixing process when you're getting ready for it uh, for mastering you know when you're trying to get yourself some extra headroom in your track you know you don't want to be going through and messing with each little volume fader on every percussion sound in your track trying to you know balance everything out you want to be able to control big chunks of your track at one time you want to be able to balance all your percussion sounds all your synth sounds you know everything have it all right in one channel so uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that in FL really quick. So essentially for this example, uh, we're just going to bus uh, some percussion sounds. So I'm going to start out, make a simple four on the floor, kick, snare, hat, clap pattern. Um, these are just the default drum sounds that load up in FL Studio, um, you know, when you start up, when you start it up. Uh, yeah. Alright, so we got our nice little drum beat now. And so the first thing we want to do when we're bussing is uh, assign each individual each individual sound to its own mixer track. So we're going to go through, oops, um, put them each on one through four respectively. All right. Uh, so now the next thing I'm going to do is label my mixer channel. Uh, you guys don't have to label your mixer channels. I just prefer to do that. Um, I like to keep my sounds organized um, as I produce. You know, it helps me helps me stay focused. It helps me, um, you know, keep my track organized. <laughs> um, so, anyways, now we have all four of our sounds. They're all routed into channels one through four. And so now, what we're gonna do is balance our percussion sounds, uh, much like you would try and balance your sounds um, when you're producing. So I'm going to do that by adjusting the volumes of each mixer track until I get to a point where, you know, my kick and my um, snares come through clearly, but, you know, my hats and my claps are kind of a more subtle touch to the drum beat. And remember, when you're mixing, you always want, you know, volume wise for your kick to be the loudest thing um, your loudest drum you know in the mix uh, that's just gonna help it cut through and a lot of times um, people don't really realize how much you can get away with reducing you know like a hat or a clap and having it still come through your mix pretty clearly <sighs> alright so anyways, now we've got all of our stuff assigned, we've got it all balanced, and so what we're going to do now is actually make the bus channel. So we're going to create our bus channel on Mixer Track 5 right here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start off by labeling it as the percussion bus. Uh, like I said, you guys don't have to label them, I just prefer to. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to route each of these into channel 5 um, to create a bus. And so to do that, we're going to start off with channel 1, uh, highlight it by clicking, left clicking on it, highlight it. Uh, we're going to start off with the kick, and once it's highlighted, we're going to come over to this percussion bus right here. And we're going to right click on this arrow down here and click route to this track only. And now what's that's gonna do, what that's going to do is it's going to take the signal from mixer channel 1 and it's going to send it into mixer channel 5 before it goes back to the master channel um, to create the sound output uh, for the track. So obviously, like I said, this is really helpful for controlling a big group of sounds at one time. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is just repeat that process for the next three sounds. Alright, 
So now we should have everything all routed into, um, into the channel 5, which is our percussion bus. If I play this back here, you see all the sounds are showing up here in the waveform. And if I control the volume right here, all the percussion sounds are going to be controlled at the same time by this one fader. Uh, so there we have successfully created our first boss in FL Studio. Um, like I said, you know, useful technique. You can do this for any of the 99 channels. Yeah, 99. In FL Studio, you can actually route one bus into another bus. So say, like, for example, um, if I add another kick uh, in here somewhere, yeah, that'll be fine. If I add another kick, just for the sake of the tutorial, um, and then I go over here and make this kick two. This is probably a more practical example of something you would do. A lot of people, you know, have more than one kick um, in their tracks, which is actually really useful, you know, if you think about it. You can go through and you can EQ each kick individually on their respective channels, but then when you get to the master kick bus, you can load up, like, uh, you know, one compressor to compress your drums all, you know, all the same without having to go through and copy each thing individually it's really nice so what we're gonna do is make this kick bus really quick so go through route to this track only route to this track only so now if I play this and I control this kick bus here see that's gonna completely take my kick out of the mix and so now if I highlight my kick bus come over to my percussion bus click route to this track only pull this down it's gonna take down all my percussion and you know you could really keep doing following this process infinitely uh, for as many buses as you want to make and so obviously you can see as you get this chain going more advanced there's you know really limitless possibilities as far as how detailed you can control your sounds in the mix down uh, you know how how easy it is to you know really get a clean mix in FL Studio um, so that uh, for me pretty much wraps up this tutorial I uh, hope you guys learned some useful information about, you know, some mixing things and busing channels. Hopefully, you know, if you're not using FL, you can look up how to make bus channels in your respective DAW, um, you know, and really just focus on mixing your tracks well and mixing them clean because that's really the most important thing. Um, and having a professional sounding track is making sure that everything sounds balanced and clean and using these bus channels will really help you have good control over that. Uh, so that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, if you guys have any extra questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for tutorials that you'd like to see uh, me or JP do in the future, uh, either in FL Studio or in Logic, uh, you know, let us know. Uh, we'd be happy to do them. Uh, make sure to like our Facebook page. Follow us on SoundCloud if you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, you know, we post stuff there a lot. So keep up with us there, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye.